Hey guys, what's going on? So, I didn't think I was gonna buy this. Um, I haven't bought a current Power Rangers Megazord since Dino Charge. I bought, I didn't really buy anything from Dino Supercharge. I didn't buy Ninja Steel, Super Ninja Steel, Beast Morphers, nothing. So, I decided to go ahead and get this one. Something about it just called me. So this is the Power Rangers Dino Fury. It's the five pack, the uh, the mega pack for of all five. So you have the t you have the T Rex, the Triceratops, the Ankylo, the Stegosaurus, and the Tiger. So this is um Hasbro's version of Kishriuo from uh, Kishriu Sentai Re Soldier. Um, the box art is really cool. You have the um the warrior formation, like the, I think it's called the warrior formation of the Dino Fury Megazord, which is was uh, Kishriuo Five Knights. Um, on that side, you got this side of the box, which just shows the combined mode. The back of the box, which has some product shots. The top of the box shows all the dino modes. And the new Zord Link system, bottom of the box is nothing. And there you go. So it's a, it was a really big box. But here we got the five Zords. Um... We'll go ahead and start, uh, before we talk about the Zords, we'll talk about the um, the keys. They all come, it comes with, since I got the five pack, it comes with all the keys. Um, now I'm not gonna, I'm gonna tell you guys right now, I don't have a Kishriuo, so I can't do any comparisons to that figure. I'm, only, I'm gonna talk about this individually, but. So here's the Black Rangers key. They don't have any paint on them, but I think this is actually a really cool idea. Because um, I know that the, the basic toys just have a sticker, so this is this is a lot better than that. If this had some paint, this is perfect. But well, you could just kind of put this over it, and if you look on the inside of these, there's actually a sculpt of the ranger in the cockpit. So you can put that on there, and boom, there you go. Here's the blue ranger's key. I don't know any of their names. I haven't watched a single episode of Dino Fury, and I'm probably not going to. But there you go. Here we got the Green Ranger's key. There you go. This is the first gender swap ranger in a while, to my, to my knowledge. I know I know he was green. He was a guy in Japan, and she's a she's a girl in America. Pink Ranger's key, and then the Red Ranger's key. So there you go. Um. So you can buy the you can buy this in a couple ways. You can get the um, the Amazon set, which is the one I got, which is the Mega Pack, or you can get them in um, three separate sets. So the T Rex sword comes by itself. So you can get the T Rex by itself, and you can get the blue and the black Rangers, the green and the pink Rangers. So you have a couple different ways you can get this. We're going to talk about the T Rex sword first. Um. He comes with this thing, which I'll talk about later. But and then he would come with the key, of course, and then he comes with himself. And he comes in he comes in the robot mode, but we're gonna talk about dino mode first. Um he looks pretty good. Um, I'm a little annoyed that they're doing this is the fourth dinosaur series. But it is what it is. He looks good though. Um he can shot his mouth can open and close. His legs can move a little bit. His uh, arms can move a little bit. He can turn, kinda. But that's more for transformation. But that's that's about it. He can't really do a whole lot. Um, but he still he looks nice. So we're gonna remove these guns. Fold these arms in. Remove the tail. The body's gonna lift up. And we're gonna pull the legs down. And we're gonna turn this whole thing around. Fold the arms down like so. All right, fold the arms down. Put the guns on, which for some reason I'm struggling to do. Put the guns on the arms. And go ahead and put that head in. And there you go, the T-Rex Champion Sword, I think is what this one's called. Oh, and then you have to put the tail on the back, too. 
but he looks really cool. I like I like his design a lot. I actually that's part of the reason I got these was because I actually really like the um, the Rear Soldier designs. I'm actually thinking about getting the Ranger set to go with this. But something this one, the the, the main reason I got this one over the Japanese one. And uh, normally, I, I will tell you 90% of the time, Japanese version is better than the American. He's got a he's got a knee joint. He's got an ankle bend. He's got... That comes off. Um, he's got... Full 360 on the arm. Turn at the bicep. Elbow. He's got a wrist... And most importantly, he's got a ball joint in his neck. Hasbro gave a Megazord actual articulation. What? It's so cool. <laughs> I love that they made this articulator. And the legs can go in and out too. You can get him in some really awesome poses. The only thing I wish he had was a waist swivel, but... Yeah, it's close enough. I'm so I, I'm so happy they did that. That makes this really awesome. And I actually really like the T Rex Champion Zord a lot. I think he's awesome. Well, we'll go ahead and talk about the uh, the blue and black Ranger Zords next. Um, the blue Rangers Triceratops. His head's on a ball joint, so he can do da 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 da. The black Rangers. I think it's a Stegosaurus. Can't really do anything, but they look really cool. I like them quite a bit. Let me show you his head, actually, now. Um, but they look really nice. Um, so, because they're sold as a set, Hasbro kind of gave them a way to do things with these pieces. So, they come with blue repaints of uh, the T-Rex Champions cannons. And they come with these, like, arms that don't actually function as arms i'll explain so he gets ripped in half and this guy just gets pulled apart so we put this guy together just hold them they're not going to connect without this So put those together, put the head up top, there you go, that piece is going to connect on the bottom right there, this is going to go on the side, maybe not, alright, cool. <laughs> this is going to go over here as a cannon. This will come over here as like a sword. You can put these guns down here if you'd like. And then you can break it apart. If you're mean, like I am apparently. <laughs> so that, those will go there this will connect back here and then this will go on the back and you've got some weird fortress thing okay sure <laughs> I don't get it But at least I did something with him. Anyway. Let's talk about green and pink. Green, besides the T-Rex, is actually my favorite of these Zords. I think he looks really awesome. The instruction to actually have you put the tail on like this. I don't like that. So I put it on like that. I think that looks better. The picture on the box shows it like that, too. 
the pink ranger is basically just re a remold of the blue rangers but they also have these weird arm pieces but instead they have the drills instead of the guns to combine them into their weird mutant formation thing just take everything apart the tiger's head's kind of tricky because it sits on a ball joint just be careful Fold the legs down all the way and turn these around. Take take this piece and then put that in between the uh, the Lego ports. It'll like stabilize his feet. Put the spikes on the shoulders. Split. Pink Ranger Zord in half. Hi, Rock. Plug the one half up here. You can probably hear my dog breathing. Connect the tiger head to the back of the tail. And plug that in up top. These pieces are going to plug in up here. You can give him the sword. There you go. Um, it doesn't say what to do with the tail, but this isn't an official combat. This isn't going to be in the show anyway. I'll just put it there. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's weird. I don't know why it exists, but at least they do something with them. I don't, I don't know. So since you're never going to use those pieces again, I'm going to get these guys all back into their dino modes. We're going to forget about all of that fun stuff. I mean, like I said, I think it's cool that they give you um, some sort of playability if you, um, for some reason, don't have the T-Rex Champions Orb. I don't know why you'd get, I don't know why you'd just get the pink and green and not get the Red Ranger Zord, since he's like the centerpiece, but... You know what? Whatever. Who am I to judge? But one, I'm gonna get everyone back, and then we're gonna talk about like the actual real combinations, which those are actually cool. Like I'm not gonna these little fake ones. They're not bad or anything. It's actually um, it's neat. And honestly, Ryu Soldier lets you do stupid stuff like that all the time anyway in the Clinton and Toy Line. So it's not like completely out of left field for these. But they're, I guarantee you they're never going to be in the show. Unless they make original footage for them, which I just don't see them doing. But anyway, now that we got all the unnecessary pieces out of the way... We could focus on the main stuff. So we're going to go ahead and talk about the main formation now, which is the Dino Fury Megazord. So we're going to take all of these pieces off of the T-Rex. Take the Triceratops, split him in half. Take a drill, put it on top of this. And then put that up there. Take the sword, put a gun on it that up there pink one basically the same thing just take its tail plug a drill on it take its head plug a gun on it plug it on there there you go there's the dino fury megazord the articulation doesn't really change because it's using the t-rex as the base body um it looks cool like um i do like it um it's very, uh, very Kyoryujin, but it's pretty cool. But you have alternate configurations with this, so... If we go ahead and take that piece off, take off the gun, plug the drill in there, plug the cannon in there, take this piece off, take that piece off, Mm -hmm. 
unplug that, plug this piece in there, and then plug that in. You have this formation, which focuses on the Blue Ranger. If you take this off, that there, plug that piece in there, Take the T-Rex's tail, plug it in over here. Take a gun. Just plug a gun into it. Plug a drill into it. Plug that in there. And then take the pink key. You got this formation, which is the Pink Ranger focused one. Which is pretty cool. If we take all of those off, you plug this piece in, and you plug this piece up here, we can start the base of another one. So, we'll plug the tail back into the back. There's honestly no reason to remove it. Um, I'm going to show you the Black Rangers combination first. On the box art, it actually shows you doing it like this. Because the Black and Blue Ranger sets come together. In the show, it's like this. So, we're going to completely take Stego apart. Which, sometimes getting his head out is a pain, but... That's something I'm going to um, talk about when I get to the final portion of the video. Ooh, boy. <laughs> so we're actually going to take the drills, plug them into the knees. And the guns are going to plug in on the side. So, the stego head is going to go up here, spike is going to go up here, um, this is going to become the chest piece, this piece is going to go over here like this, this piece is going to go over here. This one, the one with the legs pointing up, is going to go in the right hand. This one with the legs pointing down is going to go in the left hand. Then you take the Black Ranger key and you put it in there. There you go. Um, the box art and the instructions actually show you plugging the piece in like this. So you don't lose the elbow articulation. But show accuracy has it like this. So that's why I have it like that. But if you want the elbow articulation, you can put it up the other way and it'll work out just fine. So, notice how I'm not putting any of these guys back together. <laughs> there is a reason for that. Next, we're going to go to the green focus formation, and um, like with the um, like with the green, uh, the the uh, black ranger one, the box art actually does show it like this because green and pink come together. But uh, again, in the show, it's like that. Hey, buddy. So again, we're going to take the tiger and just rip him to pieces. So this piece is going to go on this arm. This piece is going to go... I like doing it like that to kind of like have kind of a cannon right there. Put that piece right there. These green pieces are going to go on the legs. Go 
close the other. There it is. His tail is going to split open with that symbol. And I think this is actually really cool. Plug this. Plug the tiger head into the um, the arm. Then the green head is going to plug in up top. And there you go. This one's cool. I like this. And then the drill. I forgot to put the, the drills actually go up here but no i like this one this one's really cool um i love the chest piece i think that's really awesome but we're gonna take all of this off now because there's one final formation i know i'm kind of going through them quick but it's a lot to cover with this figure with this set rather so now I'm going to put the Red Ranger's head back in for this last combination. And we're going to actually go on to a complaint right now. So, I don't know why they designed it like this. So, they have the Zord Link which are basically Lego blocks. You'd think these look like they'd be Lego pieces, right? They're not. You're supposed like in the Japanese way, so you would just use this piece, put it there doesn't work that way. For some reason, they have faux spots, and you have to use this specific green space for this. I don't know why. My only guess is so you don't lose the leg articulation, but you could have just made these a little bit smaller, and it would have been just fine. Like, hold on, the curiosity. If this were to be able to connect... You wouldn't lose anything. You wouldn't actually lose the leg articulation. Oh, my God. So I Okay, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what the deal is. But you have to have a separate green piece. I don't get it. But Anyway, so I have this in my hand already. So we'll go ahead and put this. This is going to go on the back like that. Pink. Blue. This is going to go here. Okay, yeah, we're going to use this one. Connect. Connect. Come on, connect. Don't, 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 don't do this to me. Why aren't you cooperating with me? Okay, there we go. All right, cool. T-Rex head. Boom. We'll come back to that. Guns. We're going to go up top. All right, the drills are going to go on the tail of the Stego. And that's actually going to become the chest piece. Give him the sword. And then give him the shield. Come on, go in his hand. Good boy. So... There you have the Dino Fury Megas, or I think it's called the Warrior Formation. And it looks really cool, actually. Like, I do like the design. My big issue with it... Look at all those leftover pieces. Not counting the helmets, but look at all those leftover pieces. Why can't we incorporate all of them? Technically, you can. But he doesn't lose any articulation in this mode, which is great. Um, one thing I'm gonna I'm gonna show you like my way that I've come up to like give him all the pieces without losing the silhouette. So we're gonna plug both the green pieces onto the back of the arms. Uh, th again, this is totally fan made. You can do this however you want. 
This is just what I've come up with. Um, Stego head is going to go right there. Triceratops right there. Take legs. Don't disconnect everything, but take the legs. Put them back there. Connect this to that, plug this into that, and just connect this to the back of the tail, and voila, you're not really interfering with the general silhouette of the combination, and you got all the pieces on there, so... That's, I'm going to just say right now, um, something that this has over basically a lot of American Power Rangers figures, the plastic actually feels really nice. The paint work is really freaking good for a band, for, I can't, I almost said Band of America, for an American Power Rangers toy. But again, this is Hasbro. Um, they didn't blow me away with the Beast Morphers line, I'll be honest with you. This thing actually is really nice and i'm gonna say honestly i've handled i had for a while i had all the samurai stuff i had all the mega four stuff super mega force i had a lot of dinosaur stuff this blows all of them out of the water and i think that this is the best american made zord line so far um not counting legacy because that's it's a whole other ballpark, but in terms of just a toy, this is a more fun figure than any of the Legacy toys were. I'm going to go ahead and say that because the Legacy toys, yeah, they look good. They do look really nice, but you can't really play with them because that's not what they're made for. This thing is going to be my new, my new just dick around toy, honestly. Like if I'm just bored and I want to just dick around with a figure... Here we go. I got I got my Dino Fury Zords and I will be proud to do it. I'll even I'd be happy to put this on display. Honestly, cuz it looks that good. It feels really good. It actually poses really nicely. I can't believe I'm saying this. I really like this. I really really love a Power Rangers toy. And I haven't said that about a Power Rangers toy that isn't out of Japan in a really long time. But this is, in my opinion, fantastic. Yeah, you have this piece, which is weird. And, you know, there's a little bit of QC issues here and there. But by and large, Hasbro really outdid themselves with this one, guys. I really, really like this. I will be supporting the rest of the Dino Fury Zord line for sure. I might even get the Rangers just to go with this, but... I think this is fantastic. And if you decide to pick it up, I think you'll really like it too. And if you're like me and you've kind of been out of Power Rangers for a while, give it a try. This is, I think, of a much higher quality than the Beast Morphers toys, Ninja Steel, Mega Force, Super Mega Force, Dino Charge, and Samurai. I think this is really, this is Hasbro sh tell, showing us, like, yo, this is what we got. This is what you're in for. And if they're going to keep putting out quality Zords like this, I might have to stick around. I might have to pick them up. But I'm I'm, I'm honestly impressed. I didn't think I was going to like this thing really at all. And it was... I, I went ahead and just ordered it on a whim. I was like, I like the Cure... I like the Cure, I don't know. I like the uh, Ryu Soldier designs. So let, I'll go ahead and get these... And I just, I, the more I messed with it, the more I was just impressed with it. When I was at work, I was like, I want to go back and mess with it. I want to play with it. And I'm really happy I have them. I, I can't believe I'm saying this, but this is actually a very, 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 very good Power Rangers toy. Power Rangers toy. Wow, I can't believe I just said that. But anyway... <laughs> I want to thank you guys so much for watching this. I know it was a long one, but there was a lot to cover with this. 
but I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you guys will consider picking this up. If you're a parent, easy pickup for your kid. They'll love it. If you're a if you're a Ryu Soldier fan, you couldn't afford the key um, the Mecha. You have another chance of getting them. If you like Dino Fury, this is a good, th these are really good. If you just like Dino Transforming Robot Toys, this is a really fun one, especially if you're like me and you want something to fidget with. And hey, you even get these really random extra weapons that if you want to throw on them, you can. But thank you guys so much for watching this one. I hope you enjoyed it and take care. Bye-bye.